I'm Jeff Hollinger. I was walking my dog along the Beltline when I passed a symbol of Atlanta. This symbol. Thousands of New Atlantans walk, skate, bike, and scooter this section of the Beltline near Ponce Daly, oblivious to this glorious 100-year-old magnolia tree. For the first half of the 20th century, the majestic magnolia was a symbol of summer in America's pastime in Atlanta. It served as a guardian above the home of the Southern League Crackers and Black Crackers at Ponce de Leon Park. It was about 500 feet away from home plate. The ballpark was the only one in baseball history with rules incorporating play with a tree. If a batter hit a ball into the tree, the ball was still in play. Babe Ruth, who was visiting for an exhibition game, and Eddie Matthews, who played for the Crackers and the Braves, both hit home runs into the tree. The ball bounced and rolled long enough in the tree for the players to haul around the bases. The most famous home run here came from the Atlanta minor league legend Bob Montag, who lived in Sandy Springs for decades. The slugger pounded a home run past the tree into a passing train's coal car. The train rolled onto Chattanooga and Nashville with the ball aboard thus becoming the longest ball ever hit. When Earl Mann became president of the Crackers in 1935, he was going to remove the Magnolia because it had become so popular in Atlanta. He decided instead to move the outfield fence 50 feet in. Mann ran the Crackers for decades. He was pivotal toward bringing the Braves here in the 1960s. And when he died in 1990, his ashes were spread underneath the Magnolia tree. The tree sits near the Home Depot loading dock but for many, this former symbol of Atlanta is now a place to park or dump a scooter. Times change. This tree is so much more.